for my intro music there. This is Alex with Cooking Alex, the irreverent but not necessarily irrelevant YouTube cooking series. Hey, um, today we're not cooking anything, uh, but I, uh, I went to a Walmart and um, today and I was just looking for uh, a couple of things and I actually stopped a shopper and asked her, uh, do you normally shop here? And she said, no, she just comes there for convenience things. Um, but uh, I wanted, when I was there, I was just looking to see what kinds of products they had and things like that. And uh, I came across this huge milk section, um, their dairy section. And I asked one of the people, uh, do you have any soy milk, just to see what they had. Um, and he said, yeah, around the corner. And uh, only half the size of the milk selection was the, what I'll call the alternative milk uh, items. Uh, one of which uh, I had never seen before, which was flax milk uh, by Flax USA. Um, so that, that got me thinking, and I thought, well, maybe we'll do a taste test of milks, um, uh, milk alternatives, that sort of thing. Um, there are various reasons for using milk alternatives. Either you don't care for dairy for some reason, uh, or maybe it's a health reason. Um, I have, uh, uh, I guess partially for being conscious of my health, uh, I decided to switch from uh, milk, using milk in my coffee, that sort of thing, to using uh, various other alternatives. So I, uh, I'm trying a couple of different brands of coconut milk, um, I'm trying a couple of different brands of soy milk, and uh, as of today I'm trying uh, flax milk to see what that's like. Um, and I have milk here for those of my family who uh, care to use uh, milk itself. Um, so uh, before I do the taste test, let me just uh, read to you the amazing types of milk that Walmart carries. Now I know there's a lot of uh, you out there in uh, YouTube land who don't necessarily care for Walmart, uh, and that's fine, um, but Walmart serves a purpose. Um, and let me read the, to you this list to see if you see anything in here that you might recognize. Uh, Great Value, which is Walmart's home brand, organic, lactose-free, and soy milk, V, C, and O, which is vanilla, chocolate, and original. Rice Dream V and O, vanilla and original. Flax USA, uh, vanilla and original. Blue Diamond Almond, vanilla and original. Mayenberg Goat Milk, lactate milk, so the various varieties of the lactate milk. Hood Calorie Countdown Dairy Beverage. I didn't check out the label, but I'll check it out another time just to see what the heck calorie countdown is. Horizon Organic, Chocolate and Original. Soy, uh, Silk Soy Milk, Vanilla, Chocolate, Original, and Unsweetened. Silk Pure Almond, Vanilla, Chocolate, Original, and Unsweetened. Silk Pure Coconut, Vanilla and Original. Eighth Continent Soy Milk, Original Flavor. I, I assume Eighth Continent also has, in fact, here this light vanilla that I got at Shop and Save. Um, Dean's Milks, and, and Dean's was probably 90% of what they had in terms of standard milk. Um, and, and Dean's is a, I think, a Western Pennsylvania brand. Um, Lehigh Valley, Lehigh Valley Over the Moon, original and chocolate. Nesquik, of course, which is the Nestle's uh, chocolate milk, uh, chocolate and strawberry, strawberry. Schneider's Milk, which is a local brand, I believe. Marburger Cream and Marburger Milk. So that's a huge variety. And of the non-milks, we have the Flax, the Flax USA, the Rice Dream, the Blue Diamond, which does the almond milk, and also uh, Blue Diamond, I think, does uh, another type of milk, but almond milk primarily. Um, the Lactate, which is a non-milk, non I believe. Um, the Silk Soy Milk, the Silk Pure Almond, the Silk uh, Pure Coconut, the Eighth Continent Soy Milk, um, and that's it, but a, a significant variety. So. Uh, in this taste test, we're just going to see what these things might taste like. Now, one of the interesting things I know is that you know how you drink milk, it's cow's milk, and it tends to coat the glass with this white coating. Well, uh, I was very interested to find that the, uh, and this is so delicious from Shop and Save, I believe. Um, I've had the, uh, the Silk Pure Coconut, uh, and I just wanted to try another brand, so Silk, or Shop and Save also had this uh, so delicious 
dairy-free coconut milk beverage. Um, eighth continent is the light vanilla. Um, and there's also, uh, but uh, the eighth continent was at Shop and Save. Um, I kind of like the, for some reason, I like the taste of the eighth continent versus the silk. Um, but that, that's purely personal preference. Um, I have had Rice Dream, and I used to like that. And Rice Dream makes good uh, um, Rice Dream uh, uh, frozen desserts. On a stick, that is. Um, and then this, we're going to try this Flax USA Flax Milk. Okay, um, and we'll see how each of these things coat the glass. Now, what is this obnoxious sound behind us? I just wanted to show you some of the websites for these various milk companies. Um, we have the Flax USA, and you, that's what you see uh, moving uh, along behind you. Um, we have over here uh, Marburger Farm Dairy, very plain Jane. I think they need some web help with their website. Dean's Dairy, again, the Western Pennsylvania dairy thing, and they have a, a huge array of types of milk. Eighth Continent, that's what's making all of the obnoxious noise. You have little birdies over there hopping around, making chirping noises, and you have some sort of little being running up over the hillside underneath the sun, uh, going like... Like that. Uh, I don't understand. Maybe he's supposed to be a soybean. I, I'll bet that's what he's supposed to be. Um, then you have the Horizon Organic, a nice website. Um, the Lehigh Valley uh, Dairy Farms, and they have the, uh, it was called Over the Moon uh, Milk. Um, you have the uh, Walmart's Great Value Milk. Um, the almond, uh, the uh, Blue, Dal uh, Blue Diamond Almonds. Their almond breeze, um, and then finally uh, the Silk website for pure coconut. And I'm sure they have that's uh, SilkPureCoconut.com. I'm sure they have SilkPureAlmond.com and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to leave it on there, but uh, I'm going to leave the annoying sound on because it's it's kind of cute in an annoying sort of way. So uh, before my time is up here, um, first we'll try the soy coconut, and the coconut is probably the least milk-like. Um, but uh, it, it's still not bad, and this is the uh, uh, this is unsweetened, so it has uh, um, zero grams of sugar. Now look at some of the other unsweetened things, and you'll see. Well, regular milk, how much sugar? These are the sorts of things I'm looking at. Uh, regular milk, 11 grams of sugar. Um, now that's part of the milk, I'm sure. But uh, um, so brands that are trying to be like milk, they're, they'll either do the unsweetened, or they'll do a, a vanilla, or uh, Eighth Consonant has a vanilla, which is higher in sugar. Uh, I think it's around 10 grams of sugar. And then the light vanilla is only 5 grams of sugar. <coughs> Another thing to look at for these things is the, uh, for somebody my age who might be concerned about this sort of thing, is the sodium content. Um, this 2% milk has 120 milligrams of sodium uh, per serving. The uh, flax milk is 80 milligrams. The soy milk is um, 110, so close to the milk, uh, the, the cow's milk. And the uh, uh, coconut is only 15 milligrams of sodium. That's very low. Um, so you might, you might consider this for your milk in the morning. So I'm going to try the, soy, uh, the uh, coconut milk. That's quite a bit. I, should I drink all that? Um, actually, there is a podcast. Should I drink that? Um, check it out sometime. It's a couple of local Pittsburghers who are drinking beer, and they have great uh, video podcasts and great discussions. Um, so here's the uh, so delicious coconut milk. Call my next of kin if, if I keel over, but I shouldn't because I've had this before. Now, very interestingly, uh, this really coats the glass. I don't know what they put in this. Maybe there's a special ingredient called glass coating ingredient. I'm not sure, but uh, that makes it look just like milk. Now, I'll try the, uh, the soy in this as well. I've been using the soy mostly, I think, for my milk in the morning, or for my coffee in the morning. Now, that has a little... Uh, th the coconut, of course, is pure white. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the Eighth Continent Light Vanilla is a brown or, or a, a tan color. 
And that, even at five grams, that definitely tastes sweeter, but you get that vanilla flavor as well. Um, that's a very nice smooth taste. I, th I think that's why I've always liked Eighth Continent. It has a nice smooth uh, uh, taste to it. Um, nice smooth text. The, the coconut the, is, is very smooth too. Um, it's just not as distinctive as the, the soy. I, uh, and then also the almond breeze. I really like because of the, the nutty uh, taste to it. I, I mean, if you're going away from milk, you may as well look for something unusual. And the nutty taste of the almond is uh, uh, very unusual. And again, very very smooth. The uh, the almond uh, or, or the uh, eighth continent tends not to coat the glass as much. But I'm going to go ahead and change to a fresh glass before I go to the flax. Now, as you as you can see, the flax I have not opened yet. I just purchased it this afternoon, and it says creamy and delicious. Oh, and uh, 1,100 milligrams of omega three. So if you're tired of taking cod liver oil. Try the Flax USA Flax Milk. Okay. It says lactose and dairy free, gluten free. Okay. Soy free. Imagine that. Now, interesting, the, uh, the flax is similarly uh, sort of a beige color to it, not quite as uh, dark as the soy, um, but it is clearly a uh, sort of a seed based or, or a grain based. Uh, Drink. Let's see what it's. I guess maybe because is this original? It's original. It tastes a little bit vanilla, um, and it tastes a lot like the soy milk. Very interesting. Let's see if there is uh, carrageenan, um, natural flavor, uh, vanilla extract. There it is. They, they don't call it uh, vanilla flavor, but uh, they have vanilla extract in there. Um, Cold pressed flax oil. So that's. That's really quite good. It really is. Mm. As much calcium. Uh, let's see, what do they have? A lot of uh, vitamin B12, vitamin D, calcium 30%. Um, one of these had a lot of, I think it's this one, had a lot of potassium in it. Um, yeah, 390 milligrams. That's almost as much as orange juice. <clears throat> and then, of course, the uh, stony fill. I'm just going to taste that because it's been a, a while. So that comes out a little beige. So that's the reduced fat. Uh, is that 2%? No, Stony Field says reduced fat. Oh, yeah, 2% milk fat, and that tastes like a thicker drink. It's a very good milk. Stony Field uh, Organic Milk. So uh, check out each of these. There's the Stony Field Organic Milk. There's the Eighth Continent Soy Milk, and you, there's a bunch of other soy milks you can try. Um, there's the Flax USA Flax Milk. And the so delicious coconut milk. Uh, that's Alex with Cooking Alex. I hope you've enjoyed this review of uh, milk and a couple of the alternatives out there. Um, and I hope you enjoy uh, Horizon's website. Was that Horizon? Did I say? No, Eighth Continent. So go check out Eighth Con Continent's website if you don't mind a little bit of uh, a soybean running up and over the hills and going, uh, what does he do? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. So there you have it. That's what he's saying. <laughs>